Sports, it's in the game.
It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a potential classic in store, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. One of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl in two weeks' time. Which will it be as we're underway in the NFC title game? And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. throw at the outset. Here's Hurts. That is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Hurts sets up to throw it. Looking for Watkins and it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Young. He finds his target, Allen. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Now a guy who grew up just south of here across the river, Jonathan Taylor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Young now. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Panthers. Noah Fant, 27 yards. And the Panthers have struck first in this NFC title game. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0.
The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got it in, complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Throwing his Hurts. Struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Really nice pick there for the reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And a good story on that. He said he didn't even know he won the award. His buddy had to call him. He saw it on television and said, hey, congratulations. How about that? And I'll bet you his buddy said, well, since you didn't know, I'll just go ahead and claim the award, right? And everything that goes along with it. But the reason he won the award the previous week and what we just saw there, instincts understanding where the play is going and being able to make a play on the football the Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive and they'll be looking to make this a two score advantage had the touchdown on their first drive Charles hey they can get up two scores here on the road that's a heck of a start and not only have they thought about it I wonder if they visualized it I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it maybe they did some of that now a first down throw for Young. He'll find his man. That's Tanner again. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And quickly, he just gets that ball out of there. Not quite sure what he was doing, and here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. Man in motion left, Mingo. Young on third down. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. And take it right on the 30. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. Here's Allen. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. 
And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. But first down, Hurts. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, they have that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you got multiple defenders in the area, and it winds up incomplete. Second down, here's Hurts. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. That is caught, it's the tight end Goddard. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. And that big gain may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pick up through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia and it's the Eagles in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. to throw here and just not enough on the throw there down around his feet and incomplete I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal from the gun it's hurts and this is caught touchdown Philadelphia. a five yard touchdown and the eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here is Young. This is Fant on the short completion. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. The play fake, now Young. This is Fant on the short completion. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Oh, he's got a little daylight! And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. First down, Panthers. Off the option, here's Taylor. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Out of the gun, it's Young. This is the tight end fan. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Now Young going to move him around. Sanders will get down close to the goal line, but not in, as he'll be marked down at the one. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Taylor, no signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Jonathan Taylor punching it in from a yard away. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half with not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Now a second and ten. 63, 63, 63. He'll drop to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in the game. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. interference ruined that series of downs for them. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now. A strong performance here in this first half with a Super Bowl berth on the line. Back to Taylor on first down. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. First and 10, Taylor now. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Behind the chain, second and 12. Looking to throw, Young. 
That's caught by Mingo right side. A great move in there, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. They'll throw now on the final play. Steps away to his left. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation of kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree, because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl. And this one, it's far from over. They were the better team in the first half, but they do know that they're facing their toughest opponent of the year. And they've got to be prepared for them to fight it out all the way and add a few extra wrinkles in the second half as well. They need to stay on guard. Young will set to throw. He's got his big tight end fan. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Young throwing complete there to Mingo. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Thank you. 
Now Young. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. A good pick up there, a 22. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. On play action, Young. He's got his man. That's Everett the tight end. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. to throw Young. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Eagles will take over here at their own 12-yard line. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that payoff in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities, and this is a good one right in front of them. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Throwing his hurts. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Derek Brown. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Chris Watkins, 97 yards. And the Eagles are back within a score. Partner, you know the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. An extra point splits the uprights, and it leads down to a field goal at 17-14. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. And that's going to be caught downfield by Fan. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll try the left side with Taylor. 
And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 68 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll go down at the 28. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction, and then they try and change directions. It's a lot easier. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers will add to their fourth quarter lead. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion run. And he takes it into the end zone for the Panthers touchdown. Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown of the night. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive, and they are in need of points here, no doubt about that, with a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter. This possession, gigantic. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. But first down, Hurts. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Second and ten. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Flush to his right. 
And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They'll run with Allen. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of looking behind him. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. A running play there, going to get 10 and a quick first down. And that's the kind of run you get when you know Super Bowl berth is in sight. They've got the lead. It's the second half. All those weeks of wear and tear in your body just go away. He's running with purpose now, and that's a heck of a run. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run once more with Taylor. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. I like how he hung in there with those progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid game. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and inches. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Two yards is the pickup, and the Panthers are going to get a first down. Well, it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise that who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A give for Taylor running right side. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Brings up second and four. Yeah. 
So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Taylor. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. On the handoff, Taylor. This late in the game, Charles, if you know me, they seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And that is no good. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. Well, things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it. And now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up. But they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. Back to throw. Pass complete. Got him. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And he did exactly what they needed him to do, Charles. Got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen? Well, you know it. Yet a guy still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds. He got it done. Back to throw. He's into the end zone, so they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. The extra point forthcoming. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. These fans on pins and needles. A Super Bowl berth on the line, tied in the fourth quarter as the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. This is first and 10. throw. Open man is Mingo. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Young. Pass complete to Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. Now Young. They'll find his man. That's Taylor again. 
The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep and you catch him close to the spot. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. This for a trip to the Super Bowl. And the kick is good. He got it. And with that, they are off to the Super Bowl. Well, the Panthers are NFC champs. As we sign off here, thanks for watching, and good night. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.